bacteria and archaea, both are microscopic, single-celled organisms that look strikingly similar. But that similarity ends quickly once we start looking deeper. On the surface, they may appear alike, but at the molecular and genetic level, they belong to entirely different domains of life. For decades, scientists grouped them together, but we now know that bacteria and archaea represent two of the three major branches in the tree of life, both are prokaryotes, meaning they lack a true nucleus. Both reproduce asexually, typically through binary fission, and both are found in virtually every environment, from soil and seawater to human guts and even extreme environments. But the structural and biochemical differences between them are profound. Let's start with the cell wall. Most bacteria have cell walls made of peptidoglycan, a mesh-like polymer of sugars and amino acids that gives them strength. Archaea, however, don't use peptidoglycan at all. Instead, their cell walls are made of unique substances like pseudopeptidoglycan, proteins, or polysaccharides. This one difference alone means that antibiotics that target bacterial cell walls often have no effect on archaea, their cell membranes are also fundamentally different. Bacteria have membranes made of fatty acids linked to glycerol by ester bonds. Archaea, on the other hand, use ether bonds and sometimes even build monolayer membranes, giving them exceptional stability. This allows many archaea to survive in extreme conditions, from boiling hot springs to highly acidic lakes and deep sea hydrothermal vents. Genetically, archaea stand even further apart. When researchers began sequencing their genomes, they discovered something surprising. Several of the core genetic processes in archaea, such as transcription and translation, more closely resemble those found in eukaryotes than in bacteria. In some fundamental ways, archaea are molecularly closer to humans than to the bacteria they resemble. This realization led to one of the most significant shifts in modern biology. In 1990, Carl Woese proposed the three domain system bacteria, archaea, and eukarya, a classification that redefined our understanding of life's evolutionary history. Bacteria and archaea may seem like close cousins, but they've followed separate evolutionary paths for over three billion years. Fossil and molecular evidence suggest that archaea are at least as ancient as bacteria, and possibly even older. While bacteria shaped the biosphere we depend on today, archaea quietly thrived in the extremes, often escaping detection. Understanding both is not just about microbes, it's about tracing the deep roots of life itself.